double clutch and the offload from Evans and here's Dom Brandt in a bit of space. Big Bosch and then he offloads to Danny Kerr and Danny Kerr will finish for Harlequins. Yeah, the last one will be sweeped up, yeah, yeah. Evans got the hands free and it was Chisholm with a great intervention to Alex Dombrant and Danny Kerr, one Seriously. of the best supporting rugby players Seriously. in the business, comes up with the try. Stay. Exeter with an attacking line out, Sam Simmons around the front. Clever play from the Chiefs, still alive. Townsend looks for the score and he gets there. Stu Townsend. The scrum half has found some daylight among all those bodies. Simmons took it out the front. Bit of a trick play this from Exeter. It was Giannis Kirsten who headed for the line, shoved on by Inard. They're just having a look at this, the officials. So the call is an Exeter player taking out a, a would-be Harlequins tackler in front of the ball but they'll stick with the try Quinns with another gilt-edged opportunity to add to their scoreline Lethys wins it at the front and here comes the drive Tapuai joins in still moving here for Harlequins care all eyes working the short side Harlequins and they're over the line the score and it's Baldwin the hooker who comes up with their second try powerful scrum again from Quinns they've got the advantage as the sun comes out of Sandy Park Carroll play no look kick for Tapu why oh that's glorious from Harlequins We're going to have a formal television match official review here. Possible knock-on from Don Brand at the back. Yeah, OK, so the second one is a knock-on. So it's no try, but it is a penalty, right? OK, it's your... No try. Your penalty there. Here's the decision. Yeah, that's, that's, Don no Brand. No knock-on, but it is a penalty. Little knock-on, well Lee spotted. Denying attacking the man off the ball. percent of the two so far and adds another three harlequins lead exeter 20 points to seven kirsten to ewers really good tackle in there from tapua jack for mulan he's got ben moon alongside him harry williams now harry williams gets the score it is almost inevitable from that kind of range for Exeter. Hands up, lads. Can Harlequins keep out Hands Exeter? Up. Six points the difference, advantage Chiefs. Simmons. Release on the floor. He can't quite get Quinn's there. Let go of the ball. Quinn's told to let go, and they might have their try, and they do. And it's Dave Ewers who drives over for Exeter. That gets them within a point. And Simmons here has the opportunity to put Exeter in front for the first time in this match, approaching 75 minutes. Simmons dinks it over, no problem. And Exeter take the lead. Release! Grandstand finish here at Sandy Park. Wouldn't we love to have fans in the stadium to see this? But Exeter win the turnover at the death. And it's Dave Ewers who scored the crucial try. Exactly the same as the penalty. Who's come up with the turnover? Oddly, they're just winding down the clock here. A couple of seconds to go. Go now! Hidalgo climb back to Joe Simmons, takes a look at the clock, bangs it over the sideline. And that will be that.
the full-time whistle is blown exeter get the win but boy didn't the champions have to work the exeter chiefs beat the londoners by 21 points to 20.